of writing math, we're still working with measurement and with links, but now we're starting to compare. So we're gonna look at two objects and kind of compare links. One way we compare is decide which one's longer, which one's shorter, all right? And so we're gonna do that and we're gonna use our tools like our rulers to help us compare. And this is gonna kind of get us ready to our next lesson, which is where we actually start to add and subtract um, with our measurements, all right? So in the, the book, there is an example of a fork and a spoon, and they lined them both up on our centimeter ruler, and they did make sure they were lined up here at zero. And then you can see, based on the ruler, that obviously the fork is longer and they're showing you again kind of going back to what we did with our number lines that you can jump and see that the fork is about two centimeters longer than the spoon we also are going to look at measuring the ribbon in this example and so in this ribbon we see that one of them is eight centimeters and one of them is three centimeters and so when we have them lined up side by side, we know this one is going to be bigger, but we can look at the lengths and see how much bigger. So again, thinking about using the ruler as a number line, we can do our jumps and see that one, two, three, four, five. This piece of ribbon is five centimeters longer than this one. Here's another example of how we can use um, our ruler to help us compare. At the top, they have the crayon and the eraser lined up, just like we did on the previous page. But here we see we're using inches, and we see eraser is two inches, and the crayon is five inches. And so again, we can look at the difference. We can see that there's one, two, three inches different between these two objects. Down here, they did it a little differently. Instead of measuring the two objects and knowing that it's five and two, they just measured the difference. They measured the space in between. So they made sure to line up the zero with this end of the eraser. And then we see that again, that there are three inches going to the crayon. All right, so there's two different ways you can do it. Both of them give us the same answer of three inches. Let's look at one more example. And I want you all to look at this one before I give you the answer. We have two Band-Aids. Both of them are lined up at zero here on our ruler. We see the inches for this one and this one. So once you look at it, what's the difference between these two if I compare the two Band-Aids? Well, right here at two inches is our small Band-Aid. Right here at four inches is our big Band-Aid. So again, I can look at jumps on my number line or here where I'm using a ruler and see that it would be two inches different all right so to compare one thing you need to remember though is if you're comparing you do need to use the same unit you must use both inches or both centimeters right you wouldn't want to use inches with one and centimeters with the other if you're trying to compare lengths you must use 